Three times a week, six-year-old Brody Bowman struggles with the anxiety of getting stuck with a needle. Brody has hemophilia and needs infusions every few days to help his blood clot. As a medic, Gabby Bowman is trained to use needles on patients, but as Brody's mother, she struggles. When it's your own kid and you're having to stick them, I mean, it really kind of tugs at your heartstrings. It can also mean kids tugging at their IVs, which is not only dangerous, but can prolong treatments. My kids in general have needle procedures that usually involve their arms or hands, so we need access to their hands and arms and for them to be still. So Dr. Amy Dunn teamed up with video game designers at Nationwide Children's Hospital to create this, a virtual reality system so kids can play games during treatment without using their hands. There's two main ways that they, that they um, control gameplay. The first is through head glances and, and movement. One of the other mechanics that's not used often in gaming, breath is used. It worked very well in this case because not only was it a hands-free way to be able to control the game, but in addition, it had the, the quality of breathing in and out deeply relaxes you. The headsets are cardboard, so they're light and disposable. And because the games run on smartphones, they're wireless. Also, nurses monitor the games and get involved whenever needed. She's there with the patient. She knows when they may need more distraction or less, and so she can actually orchestrate right there in real time. Which has made a real difference in patients like Brody. He didn't flinch. I mean, he just sat there and let the phlebotomist do his thing, and it was fantastic. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.